Is the Bahamas safe for gay and transgender visitors? That's a great question. I've got the answer for you on the other side. Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rogan and this is This Bahamian Gal, home of big hair, bold looks, and big laughs. I show you how to break the internet without breaking the bank. Let's go. Before I get into this week's video, I have to give a shout out to one of my new subscribers. And one of the things I'm gonna be starting to do on my channel is posting comments from you guys so that other folks can see it. You know, I, this is a positive space. I like a space of positivity and laughter and I, I just love it, my subscribers, especially this new one. She's She and I have been like talking back and forth. But I love when you guys um, say what you love about the videos that I'm creating, the content that I'm creating. And this new subscriber, and I hope I get her um, hyphenate, hyphenated name correctly. Her name is Jessica Kalinga Walker. Kalinga, I hope that I'm pronouncing that correctly. And she was watching my videos on things that you should never say to a uh, Bahamian, which is one of my favorite videos because it's in skit form. And she said, I'm dying. I'm a Canadian of Jamaican descent, but visiting the Bahamas for the last month, totally enjoying your videos. So thank you so much, Jessica. I really appreciate it. And I had fun chatting with you uh, on YouTube. So you guys keep the comments coming. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Become a member of Rogue Nation and you can see your comment on my channel. As for my video this week, it comes courtesy, well, when I say courtesy, I got inspired by one of the questions that one of the uh, viewers on my channel posted. She's not a subscriber just yet, but, but I hope she becomes a subscriber and it's Desi's World. And Desi asked a question on one of my videos. I think I posted um, 15 things to know before basically relocating to the Bahamas. There are lots of people who want to move to the Bahamas. And Desi asked, is it safe to travel there if you're gay or trans? Is it safe to travel to the Bahamas if you are gay or trans? I thought that was such a bomb ass question because I'm sure there are lots of members of the LGBTQIA plus community who do want to come to the Caribbean, especially the Bahamas, and they want to know, hey, you know, I want to frolic in the sand and sun, but I want to make sure that I'm going to be safe. So I'm going to be answering that question today. And so what I told Desi, I don't know uh, her first name, but if it's, if it's Desi, then great. But what I told Desi is that, yes, it is absolutely safe if you are trans and if you are gay to come to the Bahamas. We're not known for attacking visitors and tourists, and we certainly, we are respectful. The vast majority of us are respectful when it comes to people who have a different or an alternative lifestyle. Um, so what I told Desi is it's very safe. Um, obviously, if you're staying in a tourist area, especially it is. Uh, but what I said to Desi, and I'll, I'll also do like a split screen and just show you what I, what I said to her, is that the attitudes in the Bahamas you have to kind of get used to, okay? So no one is going to harass you. No one is going to run behind you to, to, to attack you physically. Um, you, you may not get verbal assaults, but you will, you will get stares. And you may get comments if you are affectionate with your partner um, in public. So the Bahamas builds itself as a Christian nation. You have lots of Bahamians of different denominations, but they all, the majority of them fall under the Christian faith, okay? Whether they're Anglican, Roman Catholic, Baptist, Pentecostal, they are um, big on religion in the Bahamas. And they are especially big on speaking out against homosexuality, transgenderism, is that the word? Um, transgender um, identity. Um, and so it can become incredibly uncomfortable, uncomfortable for people who are of that persuasion if they are traveling to the Bahamas. I, I have to say this disclaimer right now. I love my country to death. I really do. But on my channel, I like to keep everything real. I never want to give you misinformation because the world is at your fingertips. I'm not going to lie to you and then you go somewhere else and, and some other sources, you know, um, giving you conflicting advice or telling you something in direct opposition to what I'm saying. I want to be as real as possible with you guys about what the scenario is. Bahamas is a gorgeous country. We have a lot of friendly, amazing people, but we do have a lot of intolerant views. Um, is that the vast majority? I don't know. It's a good chunk of them. Okay. And so if you are a homosexual um, or transgender coming into the country, um, you're not going to be harassed. 
we have gay people in the Bahamas. There are lots of gay and lesbian and bisexual Bahamians everywhere. Um, so it's not like you're gonna step off the plane and someone's gonna be like, oh, that's the gay guy. And no, coming behind you with like sticks and stones, that, that's not the way it works. But you will get a few, sh you will get a few stares, especially if you are very um, outgoing, or not outgoing, but flamboyant. If you're flamboyant, I'm gonna be real with you. If you're flamboyant, you may get a few stares, you may get a few comments. Um, I have a friend who is Bahamian. He no longer lives in the Bahamas. I have several friends who are Bahamians who are gay or trans who no longer live in the Bahamas. And they say they can't live there because they're constantly vilified or they just can't live their lives the way that they need to live it. My friend who lives in Atlanta, and if you know Atlanta is Mecca for gay men and gay people, but <laughs> for black gay people, I should say, um, he's like, Rogan, I can't come back home. He said, I love home, I miss home, I can travel there every now and then. He said, but I just can't be myself when I am home. And if I want, he's been married before. He's like, if I want to hold my partner's hand or kiss or whatever, I just don't need to be dealing with the attitudes back home. So, you know, he'll come to visit, but it's just not, it, it's, it, it's, just, it's just a little too intolerant for him and it is for a lot of people. And he's Bahamian. He knows how to navigate the landscape. Um, but as for tourists, it is very safe. I think the majority of Bahamians really could care less about you when you're coming into the country. They just want to make sure that you're spending money and they're not going to do anything that's going to jeopardize that. If you're in the touristy areas, especially, um, no, they're, they're accustomed to seeing gays. Um, they're accustomed now to seeing trans because we have a lot of trans women in the Bahamas. I haven't seen a lot of trans men, but definitely trans women. And it's been difficult for, for them. Um, they're going to stand in their truth and live their lives. But at the same time, they understand that they're in, um, they're in a country that isn't very accepting and that makes things difficult. Uh, one of my former colleagues um, in the journalism world, and she's a friend of mine, her name is Charisma Robinson. She did an amazing documentary, and I'm going to put it in the description box down below. And I don't know if I can link it up here, but if I can, I will. I'll link it up there. But she had a documentary several years ago that won awards. It's called The Underneath, where she talks to individuals who are trans in the Bahamas, and they detail what it's like to live there. Now, I know my viewer asked just specifically about you know, if it's safe for gay and trans, because I guess she's thinking if she goes and visits the Bahamas, is it going to be okay for her? But I think a wider conversation is just how it is for the individuals who are living there as well. And in that documentary, the underneath, um, the trans women who were interviewed talked about the discrimination they face and how difficult life is. Um, several of them had to resort to escorting, which is something I learned just from watching Pose. If any of you have um, seen um, the Ryan Murphy uh, show Pose, you you know exactly what they're talking about. And she talked about having to um, uh, escort because she couldn't get a job. You know, when you present as the person that you identify as, which is female, and you go on a job and they look at you and they see male, you know, it's, it's difficult. And one girl even said that when she put in an application and of course she presented herself when the manager came out she just sort of like was laughing just laughing and so she just ripped up the application and moved on you guys have to watch that documentary please watch that documentary it will give you a great insight into what um, members of the community go through in the Bahamas and um, it's tough but I will say this in the Bahamas people aren't reluctant to uh, come out of the closet because they fear being killed or you know assaulted i think it's there goes my pen i think it's more of a case of they're fearful of the discrimination they don't want to be discriminated against and they don't want their family members to mistreat them they don't want to be mistreated by society um, which can be really really harsh you know it's one thing when you're a tourist and you're gay or you're trans and you're coming and you're spending money and they go but at the end of the week or at the end of the two weeks or at the end of the month they're going back to their country. It's different when you have to interact with somebody on a day-to-day -day basis in the Bahamas. And there is a big difference in the way um, some people are treated. Not all, there are businesses that have gays and, and lesbians and it's not a big deal. 
it's really not a big deal. It really depends on the industry that you're in and it depends on how open-minded the organization that you work for is. Um, another thing is that, and I know that a lot of um, members of the LGBTQIA plus community, you know, they want to spend money in a country that is, you know, tolerant of their views, accepting, um, and damn it, we'll just let them live. It's like, even if you don't accept it, just let me, just let me, just let me live and be polite, be, be courteous. And you will get that. You will absolutely get that in the Bahamas. I, I, I've worked in many different industries and there's no, from what I have experienced, there's no blatant disrespect um, from workers like in the hotel industry or whatnot uh, towards gays or trans people. Um, has it happened before? Has, you know, have, have people come to the country and had bad experiences? Of course, I, I'm black. And I live in DC and I've had my experiences with people not liking A, me because I'm black, B, me because I'm foreign. So, you know, but is that the vast majority of people who are in the DC area? No, you know, but it, it happens. So I think anybody who's visiting the country um, definitely, you know, should keep that in mind, but don't let that taint your, your, your vision coming in because that's not everybody. That's not everybody. Um, and just to give you a little background about, you know, sort of like the history with um, gays in, in, in the Bahamas or gay foreigners who were coming into the Bahamas tourists. Um, in the early 2000s, there was a gay cruise ship that was sailing to the Bahamas. And there were a group of pastors, you know, clergymen, and their supporters, their, their, their congregants or whatnot, just people who were anti uh, gay lifestyle who uh, came out to downtown Nassau to protest against the ships because they didn't want the gay people there. They didn't want them coming into the country because they felt like they would defile the natives or something like that. It's just so stupid. Oh my God. And I remember, I will never forget because I was working um, as a journalist, journalist at the time. And I remember interviewing these two uh, gay guys who were there with their son and daughter. And I just thought they were the cute, I'll never forget, I just thought they were the cutest little family because they had two young kids. And and one of the guys who I, I interviewed both of them, but I specifically spoke to one of the guys and he was like, we're not even bothered by that because you know what, that's a small crowd out there and we have gotten nothing but love since we've gotten on the island. They came off the ship and they were going to the different stores. And it was almost like the, the Bahamians who were so disgusted by that behavior like they, they kind of went out of their way to show these people like, listen, don't lump us with them, okay? Do not lump us with them over there, please. Y'all come in here into our country, y'all are doing us a favor because you don't have to be here. You're spending money with us, we appreciate it. And not in a fake phony way, just, you know, just an appreciation for the fact that there were families on board, there were couples on board and, you know, they weren't thinking about that. All those women were thinking about is come and spend some money with us, you know? Um, and so they went out of their way. So I remember that that gentleman was like, listen, you don't have to explain anything. You know, that's a small crowd. I, you know, they're entitled to their opinions. That's fine. We're here on the island. We're going to have a good time. We're here with our kids and that's it. And I just remember just talking to him for like about 10 minutes or so. And he just was like, anybody checking for them. And he went about his business with his, with his, um, uh, his partner and their kids, child, and they weren't checking for anybody. So, you know, but those mindsets still exist. And I want to say too that I absolutely, I identify as a Christian and I understand that some people, because they, they subscribe to biblical teachings, they do not agree with that lifestyle and I absolutely get it, okay? But I just, what I have a problem with is the fact that it's always that lifestyle that is pinpointed and nothing else. It's like, there's so many sins that go on in the Bahamas and yet we focus just solely on that one sin. We have a, um, a sweethearting culture and for you guys who don't know what sweethearting is, it's just cheating. You know, um, we have a cheating culture in the Bahamas that people laugh at, you know, it's, it's seen as, it's funny. You know, we have uh, uh, all sorts of things that happen in the Bahamas, but it seems as if it's only homosexuality that is like, hell and damnation. Hell and damnation. You know, so that's annoying. <laughs> that's annoying to me as a citizen um, and former resident. So I know that's annoying to other people, especially if they are of the community, members of the community. 
So um, I know I went off on a tangent, but I just, I wanted to kind of give some background. Um, but I have to say to Desi's World, thank you so much for watching the video, um, for commenting and then asking that great question because that question actually inspired me to do this video this week. And again, I will say to anybody who is thinking about packing it up and, and, and visiting the Bahamas that are a member of the, 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 um, the gay and lesbian bisexual trans community um, that yes, it is very safe. It is incredibly safe um, for you there. Now, safety is one thing, attitudes are another thing. And you may have to deal with some stares, some sucking teeth, some, whoa, whoa. that's a man in a dress. You're going to get that. That's a woman in a, you know what I mean? Like that's what you're going to have to deal with it. Um, but that's not unique to the Bahamas. You get that in any part of the world. You can get that in any town, USA, any small town where, you know, there's like a monolithic group and then somebody else from the outside comes in they get those those stairs um you know it, it just happens and until people get accustomed to seeing it and they get used to um different people it will prevail you know but as people are exposed hopefully my hope is that their minds are open enough to just let people live nobody's asking you to date them you know just let them live let them be let them come into your country or your city or your town and just live um yeah so it's pretty safe um and of course do your research if, if you want to google to see if if any gay visitors or whatnot were attacked knock yourself out that's the only violence you're going to encounter knocking yourself out looking because as far as my knowledge there is none but anyway guys thanks so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give this a big thumbs up um, I want comments down below. Please, 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 please leave comments. I love to engage with you guys. It means a lot to me. And of course, subscribe to my channel if this is the type of content that you like. Um, my channel really started off as like beauty, you know, the wig reviews. This is a wig job. You know, the wig, not that I had to tell you all that. Y'all notice a wig. Um, <laughs> you know, the makeup and all that stuff. But again, I, I said this on a previous video, previous video, you know, I'm kind of like branching out because I do like talking to you guys as well, especially if it's something um, worth talking about. And I think this was a great question. So thank you so much, Desi's World. And I'll see you guys next Wednesday at one o'clock Eastern Standard Time right here. Don't forget, you can follow me on Instagram, Facebook at This Bahamian Gal, and on my blog at www.thisbahamiangal.com. Love you guys. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next week. Be safe. Bye.